Okay guys, it's time for my uh, second tutorial about motion page. This time we will do some uh, loop animation like that one from my uh, GZAP tutorial. So if you want to learn more about how to do, you can check my tutorial because we will use exactly the same method and the same code, almost the same code as here. So let's try that now. I've already prepared the page here with uh, oxygen and it's already loaded inside the plugin. So let's do it. We can check what to do here. Two, we have the mobile phone, the image here. The duration doesn't matter. It's more about the position, the repeat, UU effect, and the easing. Okay, so we select our image here. Okay, we change the position. We'll say 50. Okay, we can check it works. Now we have the repeat to make it loop. It's looping. So everything is fine here. We enable the UI effect. So you will see the difference. It's still looping, but the repeat, the animation will be repeated in reverse. So it play and come back, play and come back. The thing is, we have a kind of bouncing effect. Yes, there is a, the, the cursor or the handle, I don't know what to call that. He, we can't find it sometimes. When we play a repeat animation, it's very far somewhere. And we have to click here to put it back because it's kind of hard to, to find it. Maybe I have to report that because it's not always convenient, especially when we play repeat animation. It goes so far that it takes time to find and we have to click here. As you can see, it disappears disappear and then we try to find it and we find it oh yes it's there but uh, kind of trouble to so we have to click here anyway so um, yes we have a kind of bounce effect here and it's because we have to change the easing the thing actually i have explained it in my, uh, in my tutorial by default the easing is power one out and we can change but it's always out on the bouncing effect. We want a sinus effect and like this in out. We can't do that with this option here. We have a sin and you can see if we still do the bouncing bouncing effect. So we need to have sin in out. The good thing is they have just added uh, this option custom so we can do it by ourselves. We can add any any property and uh, the easing too. So we will do it. We put this one back to default. Is sin in out. Let's check sin dot in out. Okay. And if we play it now, it will float. Just like this effect here. Okay, so save the animation. Let's go back, change the name too. It's a good thing because uh, when you have a lot of animation, it's hard to know which one is which one. Okay, save. Now, if you want to do this animation like in um, horizontal uh, movement from uh, right to left, you think that, okay, I can just change the translate here, put uh, 200. And he will do it. The thing is, he will do that, which is actually very logic. So how to move to float the object and moving from right to left at the same time. So first, let's remove that one. Okay, save the animation. Let's go back to our page. So we are moving this element. Now we will add a div, wipe it in a div, and we are we will move that div in the other direction. This one is vertical, this one horizontal. Okay, let's change the ID so it's easier to find. Image, wrap, save. Let's go back to motion. Reload the page. Okay. Let's go at the beginning here. Now we do the same, something very similar, but we will select 
not the image, but the div. And what I did, oh yes, I forgot one thing. It's not what I need to do, is I need to add first. Okay. New animation. Select the div and do the animation. So let's say 200. Okay, we can try now. It's moving, but we still have to do the looping effect. Repeat, minus one, enable yo yo, and uh, custom, same, sim dot in out. And change the duration before here and a bit faster here. Now it's floating and it goes from right to left and it's very smooth. And we have the feeling you never do the exact same movement because uh, both animations are uh, independent. And we can, uh, okay, let's save that. Let's check in the foreign. Okay. Not too bad. And we can make it uh, bouncing too. For example, let's go back here. We remove our uh, custom his. Let's check that. Yes, it will bounce, but from the top a bit weird. We just have to reverse that here. Make it a bit faster. And now, even a bit faster. Okay, and for that one, we can make a, okay, a bit faster too. And let's change the thing too. Put a linear so it's like it will uh, bounce on a wall. Okay, so that's it for this uh, very simple tutorial, if we can call it a tutorial, and uh, see you in the next video for uh, more effects.